called Babylon. I will not fall for these boys who claim autonomy but are only satisfied with monotony. I don't have enough of myself to share. Do not mistake my hands for hand-me-downs. There is no exchange rate for love. If you've loved once, you can love again. No, if you've loved once, the next will simply be part two. A second best, not exactly your first choice, because if you've loved past gummy bears and cute kisses, then you've made a decision every day that this person is the best, that you actually have another half. And maybe that's the problem. I was confused. I was ready to piece myself out to sacrifice for you, and instead, you should have grown. Doubled my life, not half it. I know I need to be alone to grow. I know I need to live without the another's direct influence, but promise me this, that you'll be there for me when I've grown. That's my fear, the sentence I can't share with you. I'm afraid I'll let go, become holy myself, and this better, stronger Orion will still love you, will still dream in bubbles and kisses, and what if you can't even remember me? Could these words be the last winding rook to the place where my heart took its first leap out of itself? If so, I must keep writing. Not because these words haven't been heard, felt, or already enjoyed in better poems. No, I'm afraid that when the sun rises, you will evaporate. Like fog, you will seep back into the earth, diffuse yourself into the air. You will disappear, and I will be left with this despair, so transient and lucid, yet no name to bear. I will be the asthmatic man choking on water drops that aren't there. You see, I'm no good at writing, at creating love poems. My words do not flutter with the grace of a feather. My sentences will never carry daisies down the street. My words carry too much weight. And when other people speak of the color of love, red and vivacious, I see a brick house, sedentary and not ready to move. It made its home on the corner of Gem Street and Anastasia Avenue. There will be no moving on. The city council cannot agree upon what the new name of the streets will be. The streets will remain bare, and this gridlock heart finds itself succeeding from the system of shoulds and shouldn'ts, and the homeless man babbling on the corner, under the bridge, wherever he may find a ear of theoretical dreams so terrific they're terrifying. Yes, this man is the man. He's the only one close enough to the streets and bricks to care.